welcome to this week's show, and we venture into the world of the vigilante with Charles Bronson in Death Wish 2 from 1982. Now, for many, this outing is the one that caused the most controversy uh, due to its overly long graphic rape sequence, but again, Michael Winner was never one to concern himself with people's feelings. Action-wise, it's very satisfactory, supervised by Ernie Orsatti, who also doubles Charlie Bronson, and many have tried to imitate the Paul Kersey character, the vigilante over the years, but nobody has really ever come close to Charles Bronson in his portrayal. He even played similar characters himself over the years in movies like The Mechanic, Love and Bullets, and in particular, The Stone Killer. But when you think of the vigilante, Charles Bronson is always the first thought. Also, if you're a fan of rock music, the score is written and performed by Led Zeppelin's very own Jimmy Page. So there's something for everybody in this week's show. And we start as we mean to go on with some good old fashioned violence. Here is uh, Carol trying to get away from her captors in the warehouse. She sees an open window and crashes through it, but lands on the railings outside. Erlene Epper is the stunt performer jumping out here from the window not far to fall which means she has to work quickly to get herself into a position over tucking onto her back to get the landing then the edit and the dummy then landing on the railings so Kersey comes into the warehouse and from behind the boxes is one of the creeps there's Ernie Orsatti doubling Charles Bronson. Bang! Just gives that a glancing blow on the way by. Shoots the guy. And then comes over. We get a little flashback to realise where he's seen him before. It's curtains for you, pal. Goodbye. So here is the police detective, Vincent Gardenia spying on the drug deal that's taking place and with his binoculars he goes up into the tree and spots there he is the lesser spotted Terry Leonard as the sniper he realizes that Kersey's over the far side so he's gonna warn him just to be on the safe side Watch out! then the gunshot manages to get a shot off at him and Terry's now got to fall from the tree. The first thing he's going to do is drop that rifle because he doesn't want to land on that or get hit by that on the way through. It's tricky. Again, it's tricky. He's got to fall through the branches. He's got to come out of the tree and he's got to land and hit his landing area. Uh, and he comes down through the trees and is landing in a porter pit. It's buried. That's effectively what he's landing in. It'll be buried, so probably something slightly smaller, but it's buried into the ground, it's covered in leaves. And then uh, this in, this shot's always interested me. This car uh, takes a few shots at it. That's a stationary shot of the guy reacting. Uh, Travelling very slowly, and then flies off the cliff and explodes for sheer action purposes. Here's a number of combination shots between the actor, that's the actor punching Ernie Orsatti out of the way, and the stunt double. His stunt double is Gil Combs. This is Gil Combs. And there's his face plainly into camera. Um, and then he hits the ground. And then the edit from the other side has the actor coming in here. Uh, that's uh, Marvin Walters getting thrown over his back. He's going to get attacked again in a minute from Marvin. Uh, again, that's the stunt man. That's the actor. There's the combinations here. Here's Marvin arriving from behind. Similar move as he did before. Up on his back and whoo, pitched over the top. Fantastic. There he is. There's Gil in full face there in front. Very good double. There's no two ways about it. Works very well. Another great example of the two doubles working together here. Um, the actors together. Then the fight starts. Props and everything. And they really go at each other. Hammer and tongs here. Um, Charles Bronson's 51 years old in 1982 and he's throwing the kitchen sink at this. This is the two actors, very physical. And then Ernie Orsatti, ooh, double there, look. That's him doubling Charles Bronson, getting his head smashed into this. 
brings out the scalpel. He is now being attacked with uh, a very poor blood squib, evidently. Um, uh, and then there's the punch. Gil Combs receives the punch. The knife is dropped. Look at the force that Br Bronson is thrown into this. Whack! Ooh. It's the best gag in the Here We Are Look duck. And then the electric on. <laughs> um, how would Kenneth Williams have put it? Frying tonight. Ah, uh, well, job to do. Drop to your knees and die, friend. That's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed that. And next week, you do not want to miss the show because we are going to be looking at this. The Presidio. Sean Connery is back with Mark Harmon in a rip-roaring, action-packed thriller from 1988. So, until then, it's bye for now. Bye.